Welcome to Mr. Bell Kitchen. First of all, I would like to thank all my subscribers, all my video watchers, and if you've been wondering how to subscribe to Mr. Bell Kitchen, that's all you have to do. Ding! Hit that bell and you will subscribe to Mr. Bell Kitchen. Mr. Bell got a lot of videos out there. I want to thank everybody for watching my videos and everything. Mr. Bell has more videos coming out in 2023. So stay tuned for it. So in the meantime, Mr. Bell is going to be cooking something very special in the Power XL, something I never did before. I'm going to be making some kebabs in the Power XL. So today my greenies is I'm using a half a pound of shoulder pork, a half a lemon I'll be using, and one third cup of suey sauce two pieces of garlic and as you see I cut it up nice and good and small and one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of black pepper and one cup of bananas banana ketchup also it looked like this so you know and I'll be using a cup of brown sugar also I'll be using one small can of Pepsi, and I'll be mixing up all this together. You can use any kind of ingredients you want to make your kebab. But this is the way Mr. Bell do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start just putting my stuff in this pan right here. I'm just going to mix it up. It's nice and clean and everything. I'm going to start with my suey sauce, and I'm going to just pour it in just like that. Pour all that in there just like that. Get it nice and good because once I soak all this, I'm going to sit it in the refrigerator overnight and I'll be cooking it tomorrow. So this right here is going to be a nice, good soak. So I'm going to put all that in there just like that. I'm going to squeeze this lemon in here just like that. Get it nice and good. Just like that. And squeeze it in there. Get everything in there. Like that. Sit this to the side. I'm going to put my little collar in there. Just like that. Put it in there real nice and good. And everything. I'm going to put my black pepper in there. And my hands is clean. So I'm just going to put this banana ketchup in there like that. Nice and good. Just put that in there just like that. And I'm going to put my brown sugar in there. Just pour it in like that. And I'm going to open up this Pepsi. Like I say, this is small, many, many Pepsi. So and I'm just going to pour it in there just like that. Put that to the side. In the meantime, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mix up all that good. Nice and good. Just like that. Mix it up. See how it's seasoning and everything? Just mix it up. Just like that. That and my shoulder pork. What I'm gonna do that is mixed up nice and good. As you see, I cut it up nice and good like that. Actually, I didn't cut it up. My wife cut it up and everything. Cut it up nice and good so it'll be easy to put on the stick. Just like this. It's cut up nice and good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drop it in. Just like this. Just drop all that in, put it in just like that. Yeah. Put it in, put every little piece in there. Yeah. Mix that up nice and good. And I'm gonna sit this in the refrigerator overnight. I'm gonna put some saran wrap over it and let it just soak overnight, and tomorrow I'll be finishing up this video in the Power Exhale. 
You can do it in a power XL or you can do it on the grill. The other day we did some on the grill and I thought about it. I say, I'm gonna do some on the, in the power XL. So tomorrow I'll be doing this in the power XL. Let it come out nice and good. Okay, I'm going to put the saran wrap over it and let this soak in the refrigerator overnight. As you see, this is looking nice and good and everything, and it's going to be delicious. Set this to the side, and I'm just going to put this saran wrap over it, give me a nice, good piece of it, tear it off like that, and I'm going to just cover this up just like this. Cover it up like that. And I'm gonna set this in the refrigerator for overnight. Okay, this has been soaking overnight, as you know, and everything as you see is soaking. And everything, I have my son Donnell the third with me. Today, he wanna finish up this video with me. No school, so he's in school in the kitchen today. So he's gonna pour it in this bowl and let it strain out. And we're gonna let it just drip for a while. And as you know, as I told you, is that we're gonna be putting these, this right here gonna be kebabs. And this right here is the rest of it. We're gonna put them on the stick and everything. And nice and good. And we're gonna be doing it in this power XL. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this power XL on three, I'm gonna set it on grill. I'm gonna set temperature for 375. And I'm gonna set it just for 30 minutes. And I'm gonna press start. That way while it's preheating, we're gonna be putting it on the sticks and getting it nice, good, and ready. And my ingredients is, which is I told you, and I'm gonna just use a little bit of vegetable oil. And so what my son gonna be doing, he gonna rub the oil on them like that. And, and get them nice and off. Yeah, and rub it on. Okay, and what I'm what I'm gonna do when he get through brushing them, and I'm gonna put them in here as he brush them, and lay them in there like that, and lay them just like that, like that, and like that. And I'm closing. And I'm press start. Uh oh. And that's going to do it. We, it's not going to use the whole 30 minutes, but it's going to use a couple of the minutes. It's been seven minutes, and my dad is going to take a look at the kebabs. Okay, I'm taking a look at it. You know, Miss Bell, like take you step by step. I'm going to just turn them over a little bit and everything like that. And flip them over and they coming out good and everything and I'm gonna close it. Look at it and see if we're gonna take them out. Okay as you see they looking nice and good and everything. So I'm, I think I'm gonna just flip them one more time to make sure they're nice and good and let them just cook on the other side and as you see it's looking good. And I'll be taking them out we're gonna take out the kebab. I'm gonna raise it up and these kebabs is done and everything. And I'm gonna just sit them right there, like that. Just like that. They looking good, nice and good and everything. And this right here is the kebabs in the power exhale. And I'm gonna put the rest of them in. Sit them to the side. You want to put them in? Yeah, I'm going to put them in just like that. Yeah, put all these in and let them just cook. Put the top down to cook. Okay, circulating is done. So I'm going to take these out. As you see, they looking nice and good. I'm going to put them right over here. And everything, that's looking good. 
Pick these out. These are all done. And what I'm going to, and I use up the whole 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close it and I'm going to press cancel. And that's done. And you, you want to taste it, son? My son going to taste it. And everything, he loves to taste it, so I had to get him in to do a video with me. It's tender, the seasoning tastes good, and everything. Okay, this is your kebabs, and that's cooking with the bells. We, we did, did it again. again. If, if you like, like it, subscribe, subscribe leave a comment in the box. box. If you don't know how to subscribe, wondering how to subscribe, that's all you have to do is hit that bell, ding, and you are subscribed to Mr. Bell Kitchen. Thank you.